So today, I want to talk to you about how you get going. How do you turn a hard-packed piece of grass, maybe with lots of weeds, into a vegetable plot without breaking the bank, without breaking your back? So I would recommend you try the no-dig system. Um, there'll be a lot of other videos explaining this in great detail, but really all you need is a stack of cardboard and compost and anything else that you can layer. You're thinking about kind of sandwich layers. So if you can get your hands on any rotted down manure, some topsoil, even grass clippings will add to the bulk. So where do you get this stuff, especially if you live in a city? So try supermarkets for the cardboard, cardboard boxes that you can break down. Um, ask on FreeCycle, Olio, other local groups for compost if you don't have your own yet. Um, and check out, you might have local stables that um, are happy for you to pick up some bags of their manure. Um, just a word of warning on that, it does need to be rotted down, so you need to leave it somewhere for a good six months or something like that, so that it's not fresh, because, you know, you don't want the smell, um, and you don't want it to burn your plants, uh, the little young plants that, that you put into this bed. So, you start gathering this stuff, um, you know, put it in a pile somewhere um, out of the way, then you need to choose the area of your garden where you want to grow stuff. You know, it might be around the edges, it might be that uh, you want a kind of raised bed. You don't need a raised bed, you can just pile this stuff straight onto the grass, but if you do have some kind of edging, then feel free to kind of put that edging down. Then you take all your stuff, you start with the cardboard, you lay that over the area where you want to grow really thickly. You overlap the cardboard, this is to stop the weeds coming through. Then you start layering your other materials like it's a sandwich and you leave your best compost until the last. That's going to be your top layer. So the last bed that I made in this way, it had cardboard. Then I put down some cr grass cuttings because I just had a bunch of them. They were quite dry. Um, and then I had some other material that was kind of lying around waiting to be composted. And I just put that right down at the bottom because it's got plenty of time to rot down. Then I put a layer of, of manure from the local stables um, and then I put my compost layer on top. Then I planted my little seedlings into this bed. So um, if you've got access to something like straw or um, maybe uh, rotted down leaves, something like that, you can put that around the plants as a mulch, something to retain the moisture. But I didn't, so you know what, and the plants grew perfectly fine without it. Um, another idea is if you know somebody who has a pet like a guinea pig or a rabbit or something like that, um, you can use their bedding and their poop as one of the layers under the compost to act, add extra nutrients to make your plants go really, really well. Uh, just don't use dogs, cats, any kind of carnivore poop because those can have pathogens in them that you don't want in your soil. Um, the hardest part about doing this no-dig planting is collecting all your materials. Once you've got them, it'll take you an hour or two to prepare this bed. You don't have to dig, you don't have to try and get uh, weed roots out, you don't then have to, you don't then have like this lumpy, in my case, London clay soil to deal with. But every year you can just add an extra layer onto this and I've, I've got to say it's been the easiest way to prepare a place quite quickly so that you can start growing seeds. Um, it's April now, so if you prepared a bed now, you could start growing um, it for this summer already. So I would highly recommend um, this method and I will try and get some photos and some footage for you for the next video. But this means that you can get started and get going on this straight away.